Hi everyone, welcome to this maths discussion. Before the discussion of this question, I would like to appreciate those of my respected and learned viewers who provide their alternative methods of elegant solutions. This question is like this A, B, C, D is a rectangle, two semicircles are inscribed according to the diagram given. This is the center of the semicircle. This is the center of uh, this semicircle. And we have to find this yellow shaded quadrilaterals area. We are given that the length of a uh, rectangle is 20 centimeter. We don't have this length, but we can find it. Since AB is the diameter, and diameter is length of the rectangle that is given as 20 centimeter. So we can find from the center to the circumference and this is 90. This is 90. This is radius and this is radius. This is radius. So this is the midpoint of AB and AP is equal to PB is equal to 10 and therefore PR also radius which is 10. So this CB is 10, RP is 10 and DA is 10. This is 10. We can use this triangle, right angle triangle to get AC. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AB square plus BC square. That is equal to 20 square plus 10 square which is 400 plus 100 is 500 so therefore we found AC as under root of 500 so square root of 100 into 5 so 10 root 5 centimeter AC is 10 root 5 centimeter let this point is O intersection point of AC and RP if we consider this triangle here P is the midpoint of AB and this is right angle. This is right angle. So it means this is parallel to this. So from this midpoint of AB if we draw parallel line parallel to BC wherever this intersects this side will be the midpoint by converse of midpoint theorem. So AO is equal to OC. So we found AO. AO is equal to 5 root 5. AO is 5 root 5. Now in case of tangent and secant, if there is a circle and there is a tangent touches the circle at this point, let us suppose this exterior point is A this point is P and this is the secant let us suppose this is B and this is C so by tangent secant theorem AP square is equal to AB into AC using this concept here AP square this is the tangent touches the semicircle at this point AP square is equal to AS into AC AP is 10 because this is the midpoint so AP is 10 so 10 square is equal to AS into AC but AC we found as 10 root 5 so AS this is, AS is equal to 100 over 10 root 5 and that means 10 by root 5 which is 2 root 5 So we found AS as 2 root 5. But this whole AO is 5 root 5. So SO is equal to 5 root 5 minus 2 root 5 which is 3 root 5. Similarly we can use CR square is equal to CQ into CA. So CR square CR and AB are, AP are equal is 10, 10 and AC is also 
equal we can say that as is equal to cq and this is also true root 5 and this is also this is 5 root 5 so 3 root 5 we can say that this is the midpoint of sq and this is the midpoint of rp so this correlator is a parallelogram and in case of parallelogram diagonals intersect uh, the parallelogram in four triangles having equal area so this area is equal to one fourth of the area of the parallelogram this is base for this triangle this is the base for this triangle area of this triangle is to area of this triangle is equal to this is to this so area of triangle APO is equal to half into AP is 10 into height OP is equal to half of RP which is 5 so that is equal to 25 centimeter square this APO here area of this triangle to area of this triangle is 2 is to 3 so area triangle ASP is to area triangle PSO is equal to 2 root 5 is to 3 root 5 which is 2 root 2 is to 3 so out of 5 this area is 3 so therefore area of triangle PSO is equal to 3 fifth of this triangle's area APO area triangle APO which is 3 fifth of 25 5 5 are 25 5 into 3 is 15 centimeter square therefore area of parallelogram PQRS or shaded area PQRS is equal to 4 times area of this triangle area triangle PSO which is 4 into 15 that is equal to 60 centi that is the answer area of the shaded portion is equal to 60 centimeter square